Today on OSI News, we bring you updates of a particularly dangerous breaking news story. As of today, there have been two more Pied casualties reported, bringing the grand total to 314. We now go over to Emily, live on the scene, to bring you a slice of the action. Located near the intersection of Alvarado and Davis Street, the site of the world's largest pie provider has fallen victim to its own product. I am here with some of today's victims who are demanding that crustus be served a la mode. I used to like pie, and then I got served pies with pie in the face. Now I like cake instead. A very sad story. Up next, I have Paul from OSI Soft. This pie man is a bad apple, I tell you what. I was just riding my bicycle peacefully on the way to buy some pineapples. When BAM! I got hit with a cream pie right in the face. A sad day for OSI Soft. We have on file security footage found. Here we can witness the brutality behind the incessant pieings. But is there more than meets the eye? Is the pie really the perpetrator of a terrible high crime, or is he simply the filling to another actor's pie? Look into the eye. Truly terrifying. Terrifying indeed. We have with us today Mumfrey Hogums from San Leandro, a recent victim of the serial pyre. Perhaps, Mumfrey, you can fill us in on some of the details of your pie incident. So just like every day, we are playing around a spinny round. I'm sorry, spinny round? Yeah, spinny round. You know, like when you sit in the chairs and spin around as fast as you can until someone gets dizzy and whoever falls down first loses, you know. Spinny just... round. So you didn't see the pyre? No, it was the perfect key lime. It was a key lime pie? No, I was just, just trying to be funny. I don't think you came across as that. <laughs> Let's cut over to Ken now to hear a word from our pie expert. Thank you, Bob. This, this pieing has been a tragedy, tragedy and I, I've noticed there's been a pattern to these sequence of pieings, and frankly, it's disturbing. You see here, we have the number pi. We have 3.1415965, and if you consider here that, well, you draw a simple pie. You have a pie here, yes with the crust, and then you consider further that when you take the circumference of the pi and you take the radius, well then you get the radius over the circumference, vice versa, and that's how you get this insidious number. You get 3.14159. And when this number, you consider every pi that's occurred so far, well, then you consider that the 3.14 is for every pi. So this person gets pied, this person gets pied, and this person gets pied, and this number keeps appearing everywhere. And it's in my dreams now. I have these dreams, these dark dreams where I'm sitting at a piece of paper, I'm taking an exam, and every page they make me write down every number for pi, and the pages they go on and on and on until the, the hours stretch to the seconds and the seconds to the hours, and I wake up in a cold sweat, you see? And then I have to go and I have to talk to my lawyers. I believe that's enough from you, Ken. Well, there you have it. Terrifying indeed. Stay safe, San Leandro.